Hey there, how about if you had a diagram like this one and I asked you to express the vector db in terms of a and b. Now which one is the vector db? The vector db is from down below here, way up here. So to find out how to do this, stay tuned. Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, before we start this video, I'd like to give a special shout out to Mbi Hange for commenting on one of the previous videos. So she wrote, We are constantly growing. I told my classmates to subscribe. Thank you very much for sharing the channel with your classmates and please guys for everyone that is watching thank you for subscribing and please let's go that extra mile to share this channel with our classmates and not only our classmates but anyone within our community that you know might benefit from this okay another shout out goes to sizzle diaries thank you very much for always being part of the lessons and being part of the family. Shout out to you as well. So let's get into today's video. Now, before we get into the video or the initial question, I would like to lay a foundation. Okay? So let's lay the foundation using this diagram. Good. So what if I asked you to find the vector AB? What would that be? So we go to our diagram. Where is the vector AB? It's right here. A b so what you do is it is already written that the vector a b is a so you take that a and you write the a down there and one thing i forgot to mention on within the previous videos of vectors is that when i'm writing these vectors i'm typing them so i type them as a bold letter while if you guys are writing them within your book or test you know let's say for example this is your beautiful doctor's handwriting you just give it a little swerve underneath or you can even underline it okay how about if i asked you to find the vector b a now remember the vector a b is a now if you are looking for the vector b a notice that we are going the opposite direction isn't it now if you go the opposite direction it becomes a negative a okay so a b is positive a but from b to a you are going against this arrow which is the opposite direction it will make it negative a so b a is negative a okay so now i want you to pause the video and find the vectors b c c b c d and d c okay Okay, so the answers are, the vector BC would be B. Why? Because when you come from B to C, it's already written that it's vector B. Okay? But from C to B, it's negative B. Why? It's like what I mentioned previously. When you go the opposite direction, because now we are coming from C to B, we are going against this arrow, it becomes negative. So it's negative B. The same with C, D, and D, C. Because you are going from C to D, it's already written C. But when you go to D, from D to C, it becomes negative C. Okay? Good. Now, how about if I asked you to find the vector A, C? Which is from here to here. What do you do? Now, when you are asked such a question, notice that the line A, C doesn't have any information. Like on the previous slide whereby we had information like, for example, AB had an information like it's A. Now, if it doesn't have any information and you are not given any additional information somewhere, what you do is you use your corners, okay? Now, because you, it's vector AC, you go to the A, you go start at A, and then use the corners. You go A to B and then to C, okay? 
So if you have to write that down, we will say AC is, is equal to AB plus BC. Okay? Now you ask yourself, what is AB? AB is A. So you write that A down. What plus, what is BC? BC is B. So you write that B down as well. And just like that, that's your final answer for the vector AC. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is, now that we have laid the foundation, I would like to give you this real life example question. Okay? This is like real exam example question. So I would like you to pause the video now and try out all questions from A to E. Okay? So pause the video now. Okay, so let's work them out. So let's start with A. A states express AC and AD in terms of A and B. Okay, so let's start with AC. Where is AC? AC is this line from here going up here. Do we have any information? Yes, we have an A, but that A is not like the full line. That A is only from A to E. So we can't count that as information. Let's go up here. Do we have any information on the line AC? Yes, we are told AC is equal to 2AE. So what we do is we write AC is equal to 2AE. Okay? Now what you do is you bring down the 2 just the same way it is. And then you ask yourself, what is AE? Now go to your diagram. Where is AE? AE is this line from A to E. And you know that line is A. So you write it in place of AE, you write A. And that's basically your final answer for the vector AC. Okay? Let's check for AD. Now, which line is AD? The line AD is from here until here. Do we have any information? Yes, we have this information, which is B, but it's not for the whole line. That B is only from A to F. So let's go up here. Do we have any information of the line AD? Yes, we have this AD is equal to 4AF. So you write AD is equal to 4AF. You bring the 4 down the same way it is. And then you ask yourself, what is AF? You go to the diagram and then you notice that AF is equal to B. So instead of writing the AF, you write B. And 4B is your final answer for the vector AD. Okay? So let's use this corner for our answers. Good. So question B. Express FE in terms of A and B. Now, where is FE? FE is this line from here until here. So, what do we do? Are we given any information on FE here on this line? No, there is no information. What about here on top? FE, no, there is no additional information as well. So, what you do is use your corners. Since it's FE, it means the vector is starting at F. So, you go start at F and you use your corners. FA and AE. So if you are to write that down, it will be FE is equal to FA plus AE. Okay? Now then you ask yourself, what is FA? So FA is starting here to here. Now notice that when it was, like if I'm to ask you what is AF, you will tell me it's a positive B, right? But now we are not looking for AF, we are looking for FA, meaning we are going against the arrow, or let me say the opposite direction. So that will make the B, like it will make the B negative. So it will become negative B. Plus, what is AE? AE is A. So we just add the A there. 
Now we can write this with one uh, sign because now we have two signs which is a negative and a positive sign. So we can also write this as positive A minus B just with one sign. Okay? And that's your final answer for question B. So how about C? C states express the vector DC in terms of A and B. Now before we answer that, if you are not subscribed already, please do support the channel by subscribing and turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload so that you are not able to miss it. Okay? Back to question C. Express DC in terms of A and B. Now, where is the line DC? The line DC is from here going up here. Are we given any information on that line? No. What about on top? Is there any additional information about DC here? No, there's no information as well. So what you do is, we use our what? Our corners. So you start, because it's saying DC, meaning it's starting at D, you go start at D, then you use your corner, which will go till A, and then from A to C. So if you have to write that down, it will be DC is equal to DA plus AC. Now you ask yourself, what is DA? DA will be this line. Now I need you to remember from the previous question, which was like here, we found that AD is equal to 4B, meaning from A to D, this whole line is most now 4B. But that's when you are coming from A to D. Now, what did I tell you when you are going the opposite direction? When you are coming from D to A, it will be the same answer except the sign will change. It will become negative. So that will be negative 4B. If you missed what I just said, look, AD is most now 4B. So, if you are to go the opposite direction, which will be DA, it will become negative 4B. Okay? Plus, what is AC? AC is from here to here. And we already found it in the first question, that AC is equal to 2A. So, that's why it's very important to find the first answers. So, if you know that AC is equal to 2A, you write that 2A down instead of AC. From there, again, you can write your answer with one sign, which is positive. 2A minus 4B. And that's your final answer for question C. Okay? Let's go to question D. So question D is asking, given that FB is equal to 3FE, express AB in terms of A and B. Okay, so where is AB? AB is this line here, isn't it? Now, what you do is you ask yourself, is there any information given for this line? No, there is no information. What about here on top? Is there any information for AB? No, there is nothing. So each time there is no information, we use our corners. Okay, since it's from A to B, we'll start at A. Okay. We go to this corner and then to B. So if you have to write that down, it will be AB is equal to AF plus FB. Okay? Now, what is AF? AF is B. So we write that B down. And then what is FB? Now remember, on top here you are given additional information to say FB is equal to 3FE. So with that said, you bring that 3 down, just the same way it is. And then, once you bring your 3 down, the FE, you go check. What is FE? Now, if you check your question B, you already found FE. That FE is A minus B. So, you put it into brackets and you write it next to the 3. Okay? And then from there... You multiply out the bracket. 3 multiplied by A will give you 3A. 
3 multiplied by negative b will give you negative 3b. Okay? From there, notice that there's two like terms, and this one doesn't have a like term. So, use the sign in front of the other like term. So, what is b minus 3b? Well, let me say 1b minus 3b. That will give you... Now, since this one didn't have a like term, we bring it down just the same way it is, which is plus 3a. So, again, you can leave your answer like this. But it's always good to just like uh, leave it with one sign, which will be three positive three a minus two b, and that's your final answer for d. Okay. So let's go to e. E states express db in terms of a and b. So the vector db is from down here going way up here. So how do you do that? Since there is no information given here, and there is also no information, extra information on top here, what you do is you will need to use your corners. Now some people get confused because there is, a, there is like some sort of a gap here. Let me just quickly draw some sort of a line here, and then you see that it's just like a normal uh, vector. Okay? Notice that if I ask you for db, you can still use your corners, which is dA and AB. So if you are to write it down, you will say the vector dB is equal to dA plus AB. Isn't it? Now, if I ask you, what is dA? So knowing that AD is 4B, if we are coming from dA, it will be negative 4B plus AB. What is AB? So AB, we just found it in the question of D. Like, we recently just found the answer for AB. So you use that answer that you got for AB, and then you plug it in there. And then from here, you check out for like terms, and then negative 4B minus 2B will give you what? It will give you negative 6b. While the positive 3a doesn't have a like term, so you bring it down just the same way it is. Okay? From there, you can get rid of the two signs by just writing it as positive 3a minus 6b. Okay? And that's your final answer. So I believe we've done some justice to the topic of vectors. And if you found this video helpful, please do give us a like, subscribe to our channel, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload, share with friends, family, and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers!